Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm at Into Moto in Warrington, which is in Cheshire, and today I'm taking this bike out. So this is the Mondial, and I'm gonna mispronounce it, I'm sure. Piaggia, Piaggia. It basically is Pi with a GA at the end, so you can't say it without saying Pi. But you have to, yeah, Piaggia, Piaggia. I don't, I don't know. Not being on one of these and. From what I've seen online, there's not a great deal of info, so this is a learning thing for everyone today because there's just not a lot about these online. New bike, new model, let's have a look around it. And yeah, if you see anything you like on this bike, let me know. I'll point to the things I like and I'll try and throw some specs out as we're going. So come on, let's do the full walk around. So looks wise and style wise, this bike is supposed to be aiming for a similar kind of market as the, I suppose, the Yamaha MT125, the Vosges R125, the Duke 125. It's got that classic naked sports look about it. it does look nice, to be fair, but I've said that about the other Mondials I've been on, the really nicely styled. And this is no different. When it's got that little sneaky exhaust underneath. I know Yamaha do a lot of exhaust very similar like that. Just trying to hide them out the way. We'll see how it sounds when I start it up. It's got 17 inch alloy wheels. Got a Mondale branded single disc at the rear. And same again, Mondale branded and it's a single disc at the front. Side stand, chain drive, got a 125cc engine that delivers 13.6 horsepower. Nice! It's got an adjustable monoshock on the rear. Now, when you have a bike that there's not a lot of information about, when you look online, it can be quite, it can be quite difficult to get the information that you need. An example, when I've looked online for this, the seat height, depending which site you look at, depends on what the seat height is. But it varies online between 800 mil and 850 millimeters. But the correct seat height is 820. Now, being someone five foot eight with a 29 inch inseam, I'm short, I'm on the balls of my feet, so I can't get my heels down, but it doesn't feel too tall for me. It feels quite light, to be fair, quite easy to push around. I'm pushing uphill there, but quite easy to do. And that's because of the weight. It's only 134 kilograms. So the weight of this, again, it's a light bike, so it's good for anybody downsizing. Seat in position, nice back up straight, so it will be a good one for your back. There's no leaning over the tank. Pegs are fairly central, and I do like the seat in position. It's, it does feel comfortable. We'll see how it is on the ride, but just sitting here, yeah, it's, it's my ideal position for a long ride. It should keep my back pain free. But let's hope, we'll see. I like it so far. Buttons on this, you've got your horn, you've got your indicators, there's a high low beam and there's a pass. Slash, flash. Right hand side, you've just got your engine start and your cutoff switch. It's an old school, it's a key. So no messing with keyless, it's just a simple Nice, I like that. So very similar to all the Mondials I've been on. A nice white background, but it makes it nice and clear. And what I like about the white background is when the sun comes on it, or any reflections come on it, which you'll always get with a screen, you can still see everything that you need to. So you've got a nice prominent speedo. You've got the rev meter going from bottom to top. You've got clocks, trip computers, you've got total miles, you've got fuel gauge, engine temperature, you've got gear indicators as well. So there's a hell of a lot of information going on, but nothing that you don't need. All of those, I think, are quite useful. 
Now, this is the first one of these bikes that have come into Into Moto. It is a new model. However, the price has already been drastically reduced. So, again, I don't want to sound like a salesman, but these bikes brand new cost 4,299. That's what they were released at. But they've been reduced to 3299 straight off the bat. So they're already a thousand pound off, which we all love a saving. However, before I start saying everyone go and get your checkbooks, go and buy one, let's go for a ride. Let's see what it's like. Let's go. What do we think of the styling touches? I do like quite a lot about this bike. I like the little bits of flair it's got. Likes so of these little things here sticking out. Uh, I'm sure engine size, it's not like it's gonna make loads of difference with the aerodynamics of the bike it's just a little styling touch but looks nice i like the look of the exhaust as well at the bottom but what does it sound like nice um yeah typical new bike really so it started first time you would hope that was the case and yeah on idle it's a really quiet sounding engine It'll be one that your neighbours would love if you're starting in the early hours of the morning. Or if you're like me and you start at stupid o'clock when you're on early shifts and you're up at half past four in the morning to get to work to, to six. Yeah, crazy. Nice little turning circle. And I've already showed you moving around with your feet because the bike feels light. It's really easy to do when you've got a little bit of throttle it's just really easy to manoeuvre at slow speed. I think it's really nicely balanced, this bike. Let's go play. Let's hit the cobbles. Ah. So there is a little bit of a cheeky noise to it when you wind it on a little bit. But it's not a really loud sounding bike. Comfort wise, now I'm on the move. Yeah, the seating position is nice. I am in my favoured backup position. I just prefer that. I think it's an age thing. As you get older, you do start to appreciate the comfort. Yeah, this bike doesn't sound like that one in front. one's loud in fact considering how far away that bike is now and you can hear that bike before you can hear this one and as you've just seen there getting up to normal road speeds it takes no time at all so as a bike to keep up with traffic at all and it's a 125 so as far as filtering goes these bikes are just the best for it aren't they I mean scooters I've got to say they for me they are the daddies when it comes to this kind of riding you can't beat it for beating traffic but there's not much difference between these because weight wise this bike is around the same weight as a lot of scooters so it does make it easy nice and nimble nice and easy to just zip through traffic going up and down gears not a problem I am trying to be nice and careful I'm not going to do a speed test today but this bike has got zero miles on the clock so I'm not going to redline it before it's even ran in properly so today is just a bit of a initial impressions ride to see what the deal is with it and I've got to say what a comfortable bike to ride we've got this bit of a dual carriageway let me just take us up to 40 yeah 
it does 40 with just no mither. It's just a typical good 125cc bike, this. It feels comfortable. It does look really nice as well. And I've got to stress Mondial, they don't make cheap motorcycles. They're not like a lot of brands that into moto sell where they've got the likes of your benelli's and your keyways and stuff that you can pick up for two thousand two and a half thousand pound mondale just aren't that these bikes are very similar in price to what the japanese brands are now only the fact that this one has been significantly reduced and they've knocked a thousand pound off it that kind of puts it in the ballpark of the cheaper bikes but at full price this bike it's not cheap but when you look around the bike when you look at the finish of the bike you can see it doesn't look like a cheap bike so that's for me the good point when it comes to actual the price of it now being £3,299 that actually makes this bike a really interesting proposition because it doesn't look or feel like a bike of that low price really really doesn't what I'm going to do not been on this car park for ages while I'm here I'm going to do a brake test we'll see what the brakes are like straight off the bat because these are Mondial branded brakes they haven't opted for any Brembo's or anything I don't know what the actual brand name of the brakes is but I am interested to see what they actually feel like how good they are at stopping <laughs> okay now that what I liked on that test uh, twofold it got to 30 mile an hour very quickly so it picks up speed really well this bike but it also stopped nicely as well so considering these brakes are brand new this this has literally got two miles on it now so it's got next to no miles on and yet the brakes are working that good straight out the box so that's good i've got to say i like it it's a nice little thing this really nice to throw around that's what again i like about this type of bike the naked sports bike the naked sports bikes are comfortable yeah they don't tend to be as quick as the out and out fully furred ones actually riding around and going around the bends and stuff it actually feels like a really really nice bike really well balanced as well i'm putting both feet up just doing the balance test my balance is awful but i am doing a bit of balance in there thing to ride I would say it's probably a clever move from Mondial because they're going for something a bit more familiar and it is it's a lovely bike and looking at the styling touches I'm seeing bits of Yamaha and bits of KTM Duke I'm seeing a lot of touches on this that I like and I think they've they've done a good job the old styling department and as far as the comfort goes i've mentioned the seat position but the suspension is really nicely set and i know you can adjust the preload so you can change it to your your own weight and stuff so there is that but this one just seems really well set up for myself and what i want to stress to everybody as well 125 cc's and smaller 
they do really get affected by the weight of the person and any luggage and whatnot that's riding on it now this bike to me feels like one of the faster 125s that i've been on really nippy and i'm heavy so if it's going quickly with me on it if you are a normal sized a normal weight or a light person then this bike will go even quicker because it, it really will if you're a couple of stone lighter than me it's gonna go quicker just facts with one two fives but i'm i'm not complaining about the performance i'm getting out of it when i'm riding i've got my knees nicely tucked in as you can see there there is plenty of room so if you've got longer legs there's loads of room there but your legs are tucked in just underneath this little bit of styling there on the tank and do you know this it hasn't got any wind protection but it's not the type of bike it's not the style of bike that needs it it's a 125cc so yeah it will do 60 plus i'm sure you might start feeling the wind at that kind of speed but you feel that wind at that kind of speed on whatever you're riding and there's not wrong with a little bit of wind every now and then is there better out than in we're here oh all these clowns going through red lights what absolute morons and that's why you don't just whiz straight to the front of the queue and go through on a green light because there's always a moron going through a red light to take you clean out lovely through the gears going round the bends little roundabout again it's a really nice bike to just take around the corners just like you'd expect off any naked sports really and what impresses me about this brand is whilst this bike does look it does look a bit similar to other naked sports bikes that are out there the actual build quality of this looks good yes you would expect it to be better and it is and i would say this whole package is probably more comparable to one of the big boy japanese or german bikes that you're paying a considerable amount more for so yeah i think the overall package of this is a very interesting one so what i'm going to finish off with today with this bike is just a quick summary it's a lovely bike to ride it's comfortable it's as quick as well the, the better 125s i'm gonna say it looks lovely the fit and finish of it is up there with the high priced 125s but this is kind of on the upper scale anyway as far as price goes but don't forget there's a thousand pound off so this is kind of a expensive ish 125 that's been brought down to be one of the more let's say the more expensive cheaper bikes that's kind of where we're at we're at a, they've they've put it now in a price point where it's more expensive than the cheap bikes but it's quite a bit less expensive than the expensive japanese bike so it's kind of it's wedged itself right in the middle yeah it's a really good bike if you're interested i'll put a link in the description to my friends at into moto and yeah if you want to come down and have a look at it just uh, popping they'll uh, let you have a good look around it get you sat on it make sure it fits you but uh, yeah definitely one to consider i like this little thing thumbs up from me that's gonna do me i will catch you guys on the next one laters